Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm out in the Jagdpanzer E100, but this is not a video about the Jagdpanzer E100, or indeed about uh, tank destroyers or this map in general. This is actually a video about broken game mechanics in World of Tanks at the moment, especially uh, around the EBRs and the wheeled vehicles. You can see on the enemy team, they have one EBR, 105, um, tier 10 uh, wheel tank, and we're going to see one of the one of the problems with this in a minute. Now, just want to bring you to the attention that the Jagdpanzer E100 fires from its 170 mm gun a shell that has 299 penetration uh, and 1,050 damage. Okay, this shell would obviously be a massively weighty thing coming out of a 170 mm gun. Uh, although its velocity isn't very quick, it's certainly going to do. Uh, a, a massive, massive punch. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I get an EBR side on, I fire into it, and the shell fails to penetrate, as we'll see. Uh, and I cannot think of any conceivable way that this would, a shell of this size would not just, in, in reality, rip through uh, the side of an EBR. And admittedly, it wouldn't explode on the inside, so the crew might get away without taking too much damage on the basis that the shell would literally pass straight the way through the uh, the tank. Um, obviously it's going to cause some fragmentation on the inside, but it's not going to cause a great deal of damage to the... Uh, uh, it's not... the tyre, sorry, is not going to do much to stop it at all. Okay, tyres are not known for their bulletproof behaviour. Even, even armoured or reinforced tyres most bullets will pass right through, especially high powered, and certainly a shell like this is not going to be troubled by a little bit of rubber and a little bit of a wheel on a wheeled vehicle. It's not armour. And here's the shot, here's, a, here's the moment in question. So as we can see, I fire, critical hit. So I'm going to take that back a little bit and slow it down. So, <coughs> we can see the EBR driving into position. We'll slow it down now. And here we go, here we go, here we go. So there's the EBR, takes a hit from the 430U, who presumably hits him in the side, so maybe Russian bias there. The Russian shells can go through, but not the German ones. So I'm aiming, I'm aiming waiting for him, he's rolling back ok he's going to be about there so pull the trigger it hits him on the front left tyre doesn't penetrate what the f fudge I mean that shell it's got three, 299, 300mm essentially penetration it's a 170mm shell it is going to have absolutely no issue puncturing the side of that tank with the tyre there or not. It's just going to go bam straight through. We're not talking about a heat round here which might then be viewing it as spaced armour. We're talking about a solid core shell essentially. Uh, and it's going to go right through. Right through. No issues. Uh, the fact that it doesn't is utter bullshit and broken game. Uh, broken game mechanics. Uh, not only do the the wheeled vehicles have the ability to roll around at stupidly fast speeds without taking, you know, without being able to be hit because they're so fast and manoeuvrable, uh, they don't lose speed when they turn, they don't lose much speed when they get hit on the wheels, they can still move. Uh, they're really, really small and low profile, so that makes them almost impossible to hit. So they've got all these things in their favour, and if that isn't enough, they're also fucking bulletproof, really. If you accidentally clip them in the wheel, uh, the, you know the Agpanzer E100 is not a very accurate tank. Um, the, the the drawback of having the armor, or one of the drawbacks of having the frontal armor, which isn't that great these days with power creep and uh, the prevalence of premium ammunition, especially heat. Um, but yeah, the gun's not very accurate, so you're going to hit the tires of these things. Uh, if you hit them at all, and then for real, you're just going to hit the tyre and the tyre's bulletproof? Well, if the tyre's that fucking bulletproof, why am I making my tank out of steel, for fuck's sake? 
I want my tire tank tank coated in EBR tires. Thank you very much. All this thick steel. You can see the thickness of the steel there. Fuck that off. Let's stick some tyres on there instead. We only need to make it out of aluminium. If we make it out of aluminium, the tank will be much lighter weight. We can, you know, store more ammo. The engine won't have to work as hard to, to get it to move. Our acceleration will be better. Uh, we'll just stick some tyres on the front. Tyres won't weigh as much as the, uh, the, the armoured steel there that we've got. Brilliant. I'll be impenetrable. Come on, Wargaming. Let's sort out this mechanism about the light, uh, the wheel tanks. Everyone hates them. Well, you know, apart from when they're playing them. Even when they're playing them, people still hate them. I had a game the other day. I was in the uh, the GW Tiger P. Uh, and I hit an EBR for 900 damage. And posted it in the uh, in-game in chat. And the team loved it. They were you know, all like, fantastic. Yeah, great. Hate them. Scumbags. People fucking hate them. And it's because they're overpowered. They're too fast. They're... You know they've broken the game. They may not be overpowered because you can't maybe do that too, that much with them, but they have broken the game how it worked. Um, there've been games, you know, if you're in a slow heavy tank like this one, the Jagdpanzer E100, and you're at the back of the battlefield, right at the beginning, an EBR comes zooming in, spots everyone. The next second you're getting RT'd and shot by a uh, enemy team, especially on a, a smaller map like this one. And, and your game's over before it's even begun. You know, you're, you're 10 seconds in and you've you've taken fire or your team's lost three tanks because, you know, this EBR has sped in there and maybe taken one shot because it's too hard to hit them when they're moving at full speed for most people. Um, and then on top of that, if they've got a load of tyres along the side of them, well, that's better than having fucking spaced armour or... 200 or 300 mils of actual cold steel in the way because you know this will get through 300 mils of cold steel about 50 percent of the time with the ap not with those tires it won't though anyway let me know what you think about the wheeled vehicles in the comments below uh, and please click the like and subscribe button it helps me out uh helps me out a lot lets me know that people uh people are liking and enjoying the video uh or even that they're just watching um Obviously, I do this as a hobby. If people find it interesting or find it informative, then that's great. Uh, if anyone's got any special tactics for dealing with the EBRs, uh, my favourite tactic in the Jagdpanzer E100 would probably be load HE, because then at least I'm going to get some splash damage on them. Uh, anyway, yeah. If anyone knows of uh, what they make their tyres out of, please can they uh, let me know so I can then pass it on to the, the British Armed Forces and we can actually just armour everything with them uh, and make our tanks invincible. Alright, take care guys. Remember, please hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, re I really appreciate it and I hope to see you soon.